Hey everyone, it's Tremia, and we had a really nice weekend, and my brother and sister-in-law, they came and visited, and just a nice, quiet weekend at home. Um, today's my second month anniversary. <laughs> it's been, I had the transplant on March 31st, and today's May 31st. Oops. <laughs> So it's hard to believe. In a way, it seems like it's been a lot longer than two months. And when I stop and really think about it only being two months, it hasn't been that long at all. And, you know, I had all the high-dose steroids. Um, I had seven days of 1,000 milligrams, at, of 1,000 milligrams, plus they would also give me like 60 milligrams like right prior to the chemotherapy and then another like I think like 15 before the RATG and then I was getting my regular steroid which is I think like 15 milligrams so I was getting more than a thousand milligrams a day probably like around 1100 and um, I did that for seven days and from my past experience with IV steroids uh, I didn't have the full effects of it and until about six months out and then at that point you know the swelling would start going away and everything so I know I've lost this 40 pounds but that was just because I was so so sick um, now that I'm eating better you know I, I can I'm getting you know more choices of food down me but I'm still not able to eat a lot but uh, so I'm eating better so I really don't anticipate losing any weight until about six months out and then I think the six to twelve month period time of after the transplant I think I'm gonna you know lose a lot of weight but also with my physical and occupational therapy I'm doing a lot more movement and I'm getting a lot more walking in around the house and also I'm not having to take as many naps or as long as naps as what I did in the past so I'm not in the bed as much so hopefully all this will come around and um, you know the swelling and all that will start going away but as you can see the rash is still here it actually I I thought it was looking better until I'm looking at me right now. <laughs> uh, the swelling has gone down. Um, the the steroid cream, my doctor, my rheumatologist only wanted me to use it for three days. And then she said I could use it up to five days if I needed to. And today's day eight. But I, I used it. And also I was taking Ben on the drill three times a day. Um, she didn't want me to use it more than that period of time because, you know, the steroid will thin out your skin and my skin's already, you know, really thinned out and then plus it can also darken your skin. So that's why she really stuck to the time limits on that. And, um, I, I called him today and, uh, told her that, you know, the rash was still there and that, you know, it improved slightly. So she wants me to go to my dermatologist and I can't use the cream anymore. All I can do is take the Benadryl and I didn't put the cream on this morning and it already started raising up, you know, getting welts and, you know, it's raising back up. So I hope they get me into the dermatologist quickly and because I'm itching. <laughs> And we'll just see what my dermatologist has to say. Um, let's see. I am doing well. Yesterday, you know, we made, um, we had a cooked out and made some food. And I actually went into the kitchen. And that's the first time since February that I've been in the kitchen to actually cook. I mean, probably really even been in the kitchen. I know I've passed through there a couple of times, but I, I mean, I'm not capable. I wasn't capable of making, I can't get stuff out of the 
refrigerator. I don't have enough strength. And, um, but anyway, yesterday I boiled, um, some pasta in a, Sheldon and I made a pasta salad and Dwayne cooked out on the grill hamburgers and hot dogs and buffalo wings and, um, on the pasta salad, I took the um, vegetables, I, I picked up a, a bell pepper, and then I realized what I was doing, and I, I put it down, and I washed my hands real quick, because I'm not supposed to be touching any produce, or in depth, I can't, I don't think for six months I can touch any produce, and um, they told me if I have to, the best thing they do, they don't want me to do it, but if I have to, to make me something to eat, I have to wear plastic gloves, and I didn't have any plastic gloves on. And so I, I put it down and I washed my hands, and then Sheldon, um, you know, he chopped up the vegetables and stuff so we could um, cook them and do all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, like meat, I can't touch raw meat for a year. And they just pretty much said not to do it, period. So, I'm two months into it, <laughs> so what I'm really missing is tomatoes. Um, they said in the past that, uh, and when my brother, he had a stem cell transplant eight years ago, but his was for um, cancer, and um, he couldn't for a year, he wasn't allowed to eat any kind of raw fruits or vegetables or anything like that. And mine, they said I can, but we need, but we have to definitely make sure it's clean. And um, so Dwayne bought that veggie wash and everything. Um, so you know we make sure stuff's clean. But the one thing that I cannot eat is raw tomatoes. And I love tomatoes. I've been wanting some salsa so bad, but I can't. You know, I can't eat it for a year. The tomatoes are the one thing they said that after all the studies that they found that um, tomatoes can't get the bacteria off of it. And so, no raw tomatoes. I can eat like probably tomato sauces, like, like spaghetti sauce and stuff like that and ketchup. But, um, but right now, like thinking about spaghetti sauce is just too much for me right now to handle and too rich Ugh, just one day I'll, I'll be able to eat it again so that was my weekend <laughs> and everything so we're starting in on the week I'll try to get my face I'm surprised how long this is hung around but that's just how weak my system is. It, it can't recover. And I just, I don't want to walk around like this forever. Um, it's a good thing I can't go into public because I'd be, um, people would be staring at me big time. The bald head and the red blotchy face. Um, I'm going through like all my YouTube comments and messages and my channel page and I'm trying um, I'm going to write down like where people's ask me questions and stuff. I'm going to try to get that all organized so I can answer the questions and everything. So I put some work into it today and I just went through my channel page and that wore me out. And so I, I thought I probably could get it all done today, but it's not going to happen. But I'm working on it, and I'll answer questions that people's had. And also, like, if you do have any questions, you know, relating to the lupus or the stem cell transplant, you know, message me, comment, whatever, and I'll try to answer some questions because I'm feeling like I'm not so scattered brain now that I, that I can answer the questions. So... I think this weekend I really, you know, I made a, another step, you know, in the right direction with my endurance and all that. So it's a good thing. Um, I'm running out of time, so I'll see you guys in the next video.